think a captain's role is mostly symbolic. I mean, there's a lot of public appearances you need to make and speeches you need to make, and you pick the uniforms, or you have a role in picking the uniforms. I think Ryder Cup captains are really important for the fashion industry. Win or lose, the captain is gonna get too much credit or way too much blame. I think the position is very overrated. It's three days of golf, it's 24 great players. These guys, they know what they're playing for. If they need that kind of motivation, they probably shouldn't be there. A captain has to stand on the sidelines and watch his golfers compete. You know, there's not a lot of in-match or in-game strategy that a captain has any control over. But for the most part, the captain's role is to not screw up, really. I don't want to sound too negative, but I think that is the primary role of a captain. So I, I think it is negligible. I think a bad captain can hurt a team more than a good captain can help a team. I think, if anything, the only thing a captain can do is screw things up and set the wrong tone with his team or put the wrong players together. And Hal Sutton, I think, in 2004, over-captained and created an atmosphere of, that intensified the pressure on the Americans. It wasn't fun anymore. And to put Tiger and Phil together was a bit of a force. That, I think, was bad captaining that ended up hurting America. You know, a lot of people think that the role of Ryder Cup captain is really overrated. And I used to think that for a long time. I think it's a bigger deal than a lot of people think. And, and I think if you think about other team sports, the manager, the, the coach, is there to inspire, is there to try to dig something out of a person's psyche and get them to perform at a better level. Merging personalities together is one of the most difficult things a manager or coach does. It is team golf. It is something that they're not used to. You are pairing players together that need to be compatible, not only in their games, but in their personalities. Paul Azinger, with his pod system in 2008, really seemed to manage that properly. More than the pod system, was, it was Paul Azinger galvanizing guys. He was really one of them. He had really great feelings for the event. He knew how to convey the importance of it and still keep it fun. Paul Azinger gets a lot of credit. The fact is, the guys just played better. It's like with any general or CEO, you need a strong presence so that those underneath you can uh, excel and do well.